Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can add an image field to our customer profile model and render those images out in each customer's account settings page. So what we're first gonna do is add an image through our admin dashboard and then render that out and configure our media URLs. But later on, what I'm gonna do is actually give the user this ability here to actually make that update themselves and submit the form directly from the user's page. So this video is following up from the last video in the series where we extended the user model and created a one-to-one -one relationship with a profile page. So what we're gonna do now is set this up and take care of that customer profile model. So this is our model right here and it's just a one-to-one -one relationship with a default user model in Django. And I'm gonna add a field here called profile pick. So it'll be profile underscore pick. And what we're gonna do is add an image field here. So it's gonna be models dot image field. And I'm gonna set this to null equals true. Cause I wanna make sure that it's not gonna mess with any accounts that we have right now. So we're gonna be able to actually migrate this and then we're gonna set blank to true. So blank is equal to true. And now what we need to do is just migrate the database and see if this was added. So if I open up my command prompt, I'm gonna get this alert here right now because we added this image field and this is telling us that we need to install pillow. So it's actually telling us where we can get it and which pip command to run. So pillow is just an imaging library that this uh, image field attribute here uh, relies on. So what I'm gonna do is turn off my server and just run pip install pillow and just give that a second and then we can run our migration once that's done. Okay, so now that's done, I can do python manage manage.py make migrations and then once those are done, I just need to run python manage.py migrate. Okay, so if I turn on my server, I should be able to see this in the admin panel. So run server and let's go ahead and open that up. So I'm gonna close out the demo I just had open here. So we can refresh this and we are back to the base page here. And if I do forward slash admin, log in as a super admin, Dennis here. So if you're following the series, you should be familiar with this. And if I go to that customer model, we should see a field here for images now. So what I'm gonna do here is first configure where this image gets uploaded to. So what I'm gonna have to open up here is my settings.py file. And what we're gonna to need to configure here is our media root here. And I just wanna make sure that that's what it's called here. So yeah, it's media underscore root. And then all this is gonna be is os.path dot join and we're gonna do baster and we did this earlier when we configured our, our static file so way back in the series if you want to see what's going on here you can go back to that video it's somewhere I think in video number three or four and once we get the base directory what we're gonna do is tell it that we want the images to sit in static so this static folder right here and it needs to be in the images file so static forward slash images so when we submit an image right now, it's actually gonna get submitted because of this media root. So it's following this path right here. So let's go ahead and try that. And we have our logo and two profile pictures here, just these two demo ones that I'm gonna work with. But I actually wanna add my personal image in here. So if I go here and refresh, make sure everything's still working with that media root there. Let's go ahead and give John a picture. So I'll go to my desktop and just get my profile picture. And if I hit save and go back here, we'll see that that was submitted properly. So now the profile picture for John is properly set in there. And if I go to my images file, so static images, following this path right here, Dennis Ivanov.jpg was submitted. So that's because of our media, media root. So now what I'm gonna do is actually go to that settings page and render out this image based on a profile picture, but we still need to configure our media URL. So if I go to, let's try opening up our page here. And if I go to the root directory and then forward slash images, forward slash, and then let's see what that was, what the name of that image was. 
So Dennis underscore Ivanov dot JPEG. Dennis underscore Ivanov dot JPEG. So that's not going to work. And why this isn't working is because media files are not by default configured in the Django production server. So what we need to do is actually set the URL patterns for this and make sure that it actually knows how to find this. So in our settings.py file, we need to actually make sure this media URL works with our URL pattern. So in our root directory here, some of that base URLs.py file, we need to add a few things here. So we first need to run a quick import, and this is going to be from django.conf. or import settings. So what we're doing is saying, let us start working with these variables from the settings.py file. So we import those and we need to add something to our URLs pattern uh, list here. So we're going to do URLs and we're going to extend it. And we need to also import static here. So I'm going to split that up here. And for this, we're going to do from django.conf.urls.static. And this is just going to let us set the static files URL patterns here. So dot static import static. So normally you would actually set your static files somewhere in uh, somewhere like AWS and host them completely differently. Um, you don't want to normally host them in Django, but just for testing purposes, we're going to work with this. But later on in this series, we'll show you how to properly host static files. So this isn't the method you want to use in a production level environment, but um, it should do for now. So we're going to use this static method right here. And in here, we're going to do settings dot, that needs to be an S there, media URL underscore URL. And so, so we're going to this settings file right here and we're grabbing this media URL. And then we're saying whenever we go to forward slash images, so it's taking this URL path right here and throwing that in, uh, go ahead and do document dot settings dot media root. So go ahead and whenever that URL pattern is set, go ahead and find the files from this media root. So media underscore root. And that should allow us to view that image file here. So now if I go to that same path and refresh, that should work. Okay, so document is undefined. I think it needs to be document underscore root. And then and that needs to be equals. So that looks more correct. So equals, and then it takes us to that file path. So now if I go ahead and run the server again, that should work. Okay, so now if I refresh that, we see our image. So we just configured that. So every time we go to forward slash images, then we go look into that file. So that has our media files configured now. So before we render out that image, what I wanna do is get everyone up to speed that's part of the tutorial series. So we're gonna log out as the super user and log in as a customer. So we have John here and I set up this page. So you're gonna notice a new link here and this page here that is gonna hold an account profile and that form that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So in here, we're gonna close out all of our files here and within our app, we added a template here called account underscore settings. So it just inherits from our main template, has a little bit of styling, and we throw in a form with some bootstrap in here. So uh, go ahead and just download the source code or you could build this out, it's not too much code. And this gets rendered by a view that's called, where is this? Uh, just under our user profile page. So it's our account settings with a capital S and it just renders out that page and we set the restrictions. So allowed roles, it's only for a customer right now. So they have to be logged in and they have to be a customer to view that page. And if I go into my URL patterns, it's right here. So forward slash account takes in that view. And the last thing I need to show you is our form. So this is relevant to everybody. Within our forms.py file, we added this customer form and the customer is gonna be able to update their own information, but we don't want them to update the user. So they should not be able to see that, that's irrelevant to them, but they are gonna be able to update the profile picture and any other settings. And 
before I missed this part in our nav bar, we just wrote this conditional that says if the user is not staffed, so if they're a customer, go ahead and link out to that page. So now we can get back into that template. So let's go ahead and open up our account underscore settings and render out that picture. To get the profile picture, all we need to do is access the customer model and get the profile pick attribute and get that URL path. So the customer is related to a user. So the first thing we're gonna do for that image URL is get that user and then access the customer. So to get the logged in user, we're just gonna do request dot user. And then because of that relationship, we're just gonna do customer. And then we can get this profile pick attribute by doing profile pick. And we don't wanna just set it like this because this actually sends us to that file. What we wanna do is get that URL attribute. So because this image field is here, it gives us access to that URL attribute. So we can just extend it that way. And once we refresh it, we should see our profile picture. So this will get us a profile picture for whatever user is logged in at any point in time. So now let's go ahead and actually render that form and let the user update this information. So if we go back to our view, we have our customer form right here. And that's from our forms.py. It's from this form that we created. So we imported it. And now we need to go to that view and go ahead and render it. So if we go down here to account settings, we're just gonna set the form variable to equal customer form. So that's that form we just imported. And the instance of that form is gonna be the current user that's logged in. So I'm gonna set a user variable and just do request.user. And again, this is just gonna get us that logged in user at any point in time. And let's pass in that form. So throw that into the context dictionary and that's passed in again right here. And let's go ahead and render that. And now in our account dot settings pure account underscore settings HTML file, what we need to do is uh, work with this form a little bit. So we have our method of post and we have our action type, but because we're sending some files or an image, what we need to do is set ink type. And this needs to be multi part forward slash form dash data. So that sets the ink type and we need to throw in our CSRF token and get the form. So I always forget these. I want to do this first. So CSRF underscore token and let's go ahead and render that form out. So form dot as underscore P and that's just going to clean up the form a little bit. So if I go ahead and refresh that and that should render out our template there with our form and I did find one issue. Uh, we're not trying to get the customer or we're not trying to get the user. We're trying to get the customer because that's a customer form. So let's go ahead and change all this. And then now if I refresh this one more time, now we should get the proper information. Okay. So now all we need to do is handle the submission. So the submission is pretty much the same as any other model form. Uh, we're just going to get the post data and it has one different part that we need to add to it. So if the post method or if the method is post, let's go ahead and get this form again, except for this time, we're gonna pass in the request.post data. And not only do we want the post data, we want the any files that come with it. So uh, files or images, we need to do request.files. So once we do that, that's the only difference we have here from any other model form. Now we just need to go ahead and make sure if this to see if this form is valid. So if form dot is underscore valid, let's go ahead and save it. And we just want to re-render the same page here. So uh, we'll actually just make a little update here. So let's change John Doe to John Doe and we'll just say test and we'll throw in a new image. So I want to throw in, um, let's just get this uh, subscribe button for now. I guess it really is irrelevant. So if we hit submit, that form saved. So we have a new John Doe uh, name here and we have a new image for the form. So, or for the template and for the user. So the last thing I'm gonna do is create a default profile picture for any user that registers and doesn't submit. And I'll just do this directly from the admin panel so it makes sense for everybody. So let's go ahead and log out and go into that admin panel and we'll log in as a super user and we'll get ready to create a new customer. So. I'll go to my customer models here and 
before I do anything, I want to make sure that we can actually create this model. So I'm going to have to set the user to blank is true. And this just means that I can create a customer without a user attached to it. Put a comma there. And in my image field, we just need to set the value of default and then give it a file to upload by default. So because I have my media root and my media URLs already configured, I can just do this directly. So static images, I have this image profile one.png. I can just go ahead and write that in. So if I just do profile one.png, and I believe that if I had my images in a file called images forward slash um, profile pics, and then the image, I think I would have to change that here. I'm not too sure. But right now I know I can just directly type that in like that. So if I refresh this and create a new user, so let's make sure the server's running. Not sure what I did wrong there. Okay, so the server's running now. Let's go ahead and create a new user. We'll just call him Eric. And we'll just do Eric at Gmail. And let's do some kind of a, that's a phone. So let's just throw in some kind of fake number here. So we'll just do 555 and we'll use that. So if I create this user and I look into Eric's file, by default, he already has a profile picture uh, attached to him. So if I were to open up, if I were to create a user for Eric and log in, we would see that default profile picture. So let's go ahead and actually do that. So what I'm gonna do is change John's user. So I'm gonna remove the user from this customer and set John to be related to the customer, Eric. So if I log out, we're gonna see a new profile for John here. So let's go ahead and do that. And in settings.py, there we go. So that image just changed, but that's the default picture. So every user that signs up and forgets to do this, uh, just like Facebook does it for you, let's say when you register, they already have some silhouette uh, icon for you. So that's how we take care of that. And that's it for this video and uploading images into a Django model. Thanks for watching and thank you for supporting.